Welcome to some official racing here. We are doing some Gen 4 at Kansas and about ready to jump into qualifying. I haven't been doing as many official races lately, but I thought this sounded like a fun combo. Favorite car here, the Gen 4 at Kansas. You know, I love my mile and a half tracks. <laughs> and uh, we got ourselves a pretty strong field here on a Friday. 3.6k strength of field. Let's adjust my volume just a bit. We'll see what we can do for qualifying. Some really fast guys in here, so it's gonna be hard to keep up with them. Do my best. Highline dominant at Kansas, as is usually the case. Kind of surprised how much speed you can carry through. These corners, even with how fast you're going in this car. My uh, best time got into the 30.5s, but that's going to be hard to just do out of uh, nowhere here. Check might be a little bit tighter than the practice session I was in. Feels like that might be the case. I almost get up into the wall. Thankfully able to keep it out of there. So far, 1 and 2 is a little bit faster than my first lap. Gonna gun it up here, try to hold on to it. Just barely able to. Don't know if this is going to be faster or not. Oh, it is. We get into the sixes. Sweet. We'll see if that holds on. But I'm happy with that, getting into the point sixes. Right now holding on to the pole. Never mind. Scott, who is in here, by the way, is going to take that right back from us. Just barely. But he will be on pole right now. For My hope is that I at least don't end up P2, because I hate that. I hate starting P2. There's a lot of fast guys, I'm sure, that are ready to go still, though. So hopefully I won't end up P2. I'm going to do a practice pit stop here. What I've been doing to uh, find my breaking point is as soon as the billboards on the right side go off screen is when I start braking. So right now, Brakes, steady, make sure I get it turned where I need to, and Watch then it's the lane. And then I'll probably be a little more conservative than that during the race. At least with the final part there of slowing down, I'll probably be harder on the brakes just to make sure I don't speed. But still P2 for now. Lewandowski, his first lap is in the point sevens. We'll see if he's able to take that from us. This could be some great practice for the Diet Dr. Pepper series coming up. We will be going to Kansas at some point during that season. Very recently introduced in the Gen 4 era. <laughs> uh, at least where we're basing that series around. See, I like that series uh, the season. So just hoping that I don't end up P2. Come on, Lewandowski. Oh, he doesn't... <laughs> doesn't beat us. Anybody, please. The 9? He is, like, the second fastest time in practice. Where are you? Come on, put some laps in. Kick me out of P2, please. Anybody. <laughs> Still got a minute left. I guess I could have uh, stayed on track and run around a bit, but... We're here now, so I guess I'll go over the settings I'm using. 12 to 1. Kind of just uh, my standard... For just about any track at this point. Offset at negative 15. Try to keep the wheel in the middle. And then brake bias. Don't know if we're going to need that. I think I'm going to be running a low side. To save tires during the race. So I think maybe it could get tighter over time. And if I want to run that line. I might need a little bit of brake to get it turned. So just in case I do. Got that all the way back. 
I'm going to start P2, aren't I? <sighs> oh, he almost got me. There must be like a cloud that comes in late or something. So people are trying to come in at the last second <laughs> and do their laps. That's the end of the session. P2. <sighs> oh, boy. Well, Scott and I, one and two. So I wish him good luck. He gets the pole, I get P2. Hard to get much better practice than someone you're literally going to race against in the league race, I guess. He's proven that he's a step ahead right now. Let's see what we can do long run. I'm, I'm less confident long run, as is usually the case. Going to try to save those tires. But we'll see what happens. That should last... I don't want to put my brake bias any further back because when I was practicing my green flag pit stops, I had it at 60% and not 57%. And although it might not make a huge difference, I don't want to end up spinning myself while on the brakes trying to slow down from 180. So, just going to leave it where it is. We'll live with it. Just like how we have to live with our P2 starting spot. Keep doing a little bit of this. Scott's always got his, like, Kevin Harvick schemes. I recognize that. 80 laps. Estimated 41.7 for fuel. So pretty much going to run it dry, looks like. And two sets of tires. So we're going to have to be smart about how we use those, too. Could be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. I don't recognize a lot of the guys in the race. Of course, Lewandowski and Scott I recognize, but a lot of the guys I'm not too familiar with. So hopefully it'll be a fun, good race. It's definitely a strong field, like I said, 3.6k. I see a couple of 6,000 I rating guys, and then Scott's 5,000. Right next to me, we are the 5 and 6 car. We'll get rolling. I'm going to save some fuel, too. Just got to remember to put that back. Catch the pace car. Yeah, we can barely make it to halfway. 41.5 right now. That's interesting. Ideally, I'll just try to go as long as possible, since we can't really go much longer than halfway anyway. I guess that's the plan. But we'll hopefully get ourselves a good start. Doesn't seem like it's going to spin up the tires too much, but I'll be ready in case it starts getting wiggly. Decent enough start. Got a little bit spinny. It's tire spinny. Not too bad though. Ooh, almost drifted up too far there. I was gonna take the apron, decided not to. I'm gonna make a track position play. Get on his inside here. Now we'll make him use the outside line if he wants to get back around. Don't want to fight too much, but... If we can get the track position, I guess that's not such a bad thing. I'm going to take it easier now, though. 
think I do want to use a little bit of brakes to get this thing turning. It's already feeling a little bit too tight on entry. A little more than I would like. I feel like the exit of the corners here always sneak up on me more than other mile and a halves. Feels like the wall really wants to meet the right side of my car. It's to introduce itself. Probably hurting my tires, fortunately. I'll back it down just a little bit more. I just get that impression because I'm getting too much of a lead right now. Not getting as much turn in to the corner as I would like. It's just making me a little bit uncomfortable. The lot of time was at 31.3. Okay, behind takes the high line, he wants a run. Try to get around. Inside. Didn't cut that close. Didn't really necessarily like that, but it's okay. Still just trying to ease it through right now. Not gonna fight too hard over E1. Gasky right behind us. I can almost guarantee you he's been better on his tires than I have. No real big gaps I can see immediately behind us. Everyone pretty uh, nose to tail, which is interesting. Gasky's going to take a higher line. He wants to get around us here, possibly. I need to stop watching him and watch my uh, corner or I'm going to end up in the wall. We'll get to our inside. We just left too much space down there. Take middle, let him buy. I do like taking the apron there. It feels like I gain enough that makes it worth it. Could change my mind later, especially if the handling gets weird. Right now, P3, though, I'm happy with that. Still no one really driving away or 
I can make a huge gap really behind us, a little bit more room to fourth and uh, or to fifth and sixth. I mean, Scott's still right behind us at fourth. Makes me feel a little bit better that we're keeping up right now. Still early in the run, but I didn't kill my tires early on or anything. Way over driving. I think I need to back down turn one a little bit more. I think I need to back up my entry just a bit. Probably don't back into the wall either. Got a little bit close. Leader is going higher up the track now. It's going to be faster for a little bit, but it could hurt his right front a lot quicker too. That was a fifty-two point five. I liked that a lot more entering one. I think uh, backing up was a good idea. It's felt better on the car. So about a second up to the leader, half a second or so to Lewandowski in second. Scott's point three or so behind us. Your last lap time was at thirty-two point six. be interesting to see if that leader burns off his tires running higher. We'll say it's getting a little looser on exit down low. A little harder to hold on to it. I might try to avoid the apron moving forward if it's going to be that loose. I don't want to spin myself down there. Looser car, though, is kind of doing things for us in terms of the entry. It's feeling a little less tight on entry, which is nice. Scott's catching us back there. halfway through this run. Green all the way so far, by the way. Great pace. As of yet. About a fourth of the way through. Wonder at what point do we consider moving higher up the track? Ever? I don't know. Possibly go up there trying to hold the spot off from Scott as much as that would probably be very annoying to him. He's going Highline right now Trying to get a run. We're gonna take the apron here. Hopefully Get to the corner before him. We're gonna do it.
So you'll see that was a little bit faster, but how long is this going to last? I don't know. I'm going to take it kind of easy up here still. Ooh, that seam wanted to spin me. There's loose. That leader's getting away more. I might just have this all figured out. I have a very impressive run so far to get out there in the lead and now be walking away with it a little bit. I love running high line, so I welcome this part of the race where we can move up. Getting back away from Scott a little bit, having moved up the track. We might be catching Lewandowski. But at what cost? might cost us one right front tire. That's okay, we got some more sets in the pits, right? Ooh, we almost got the wall ahead of us. Yeah, pretty close. Does look like we're catching him right now. Not the leader, though. Into the wall. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. Really did not want to go to his low side, but oh, I think he got the wall again. Hope I didn't pinch him too much. I don't think I did. Hope I didn't pressure him into the wall, though. I don't want to do that. Ooh, with the six loops. Leader up there running real close to the wall. I'm getting some frame issues all of a sudden. Just likes to do that sometimes, I guess. Oh, leader's in the wall. Leader's in the wall hard. That's what we needed to see. We want a chance to catch him. Even after he did that, he's still over a second ahead. Need this frame issue to stop. Oh my gosh. It is not easy to counter steer whenever I'm looking at a slideshow, I will say that. We got the wall again! He's not doing himself any favors. That's another half second we'll chase him down for. I'm thinking his right front is dead. My car's still feeling loose. I'm happy with my car right now. I think running high early has done some good things for us. Or running low early? Did I say high early? I mean, running a low line is what I mean.
Got over half a second behind us, but it's a new guy. A guy that might have saved his tires better than all of us. So that'll be interesting. Coming close to time for, uh, for pit stop time, though. About 10 laps away. Hands are hurt. Dipping on it onto it a little bit too tight. Very tough to handle this thing though. It's in the wall again. That's gonna be enough for us to get around him potentially. We'll do a little bit of a slider, get by him without wasting too much time. All right, new leader. You're back in the lane. Keeping our uh, right side, the right side of our car clean. Went ahead and played a big part in that. So the leader got his, got the wall about three, four times there. Thankfully, I've been able to avoid doing that so far. I think that four is about to come get me, though. He seems like he's got a lot of tire left. Gained another tenth on me. It's not quite as willing to turn as it was earlier in the run, that's for sure. Starting to feel the effects, but it's almost time to pit anyway, so that's quite alright. We'll get some fresh tires on this before too long. Just gotta keep it out of the wall until then. And then I can put it in the wall. Actually, no, I probably shouldn't do that at any time. You know what I mean. Okay, Colton, you've got about four laps of fuel left. That's good consistency, keep it up. You've got about five laps of fuel. Alright, five laps of fuel, I get it, I get it. Biting the car on exit. He's on me now. Will he try to make a move? continues to be faster like he is right now, I uh, definitely can see it happening.
We'll come in next lap, I think. Pitting in here. Leader pitting in. Yep, pitting in here. Alright, get it slowed down. Oh, did I speed? Man, 45 seems so slow. Felt like I was already slowed down quite a bit. We're good though. We get on the get on the lane. Get it stopped. 37-33. Wowzers. Share that. Okay, go. Alright, spin your tires up, I guess. You only have one tire to get the main. Watch your mirrors. Damn. Damn. Try to be fast off pit road, but it's really slick down here. The car in front is pitting. All right, get off pit road. About a second and a half to Scott. Twelve car pitting. We will undercut the guy that had been right on top of me there. Don't know how long he's planning to go. Gotta remember that I gotta be nice to the tires this time around as well. Definitely interested to see where the other guy is going to There he is. That's him, right? No? But maybe that's not him. Where did he end up? Is a car leaving the pits? Is he still not pit? I'm not sure. You're back in the captain Cox behind is in quicksand. It's now one point nine. He's losing more and more time the more he doesn't pit. The now. There, he now just finally goes. Very interesting. That's not him. That's a different guy. So where's the other guy? You're now in the lead. That was at uh, 31.2. No clue. I'm going to have to check. I'm very interested. He was looking like... Fast to sky on the track at the end of that run. He's showing in seventh right now. I wonder if he had a slow stop or something, or if it's just that big of a uh, undercut difference for us. We are two seconds ahead of what's going to be P2 here. You are the leader. Feeling pretty good. I think that green flag pit stop went really well for us. Oh my god, why is he slamming on the brakes in front of me? Didn't like that. Thought for sure he would go high for us there, but not so much. Clear inside. 
Squad. At least some time from that, but not too bad. Scott's on the same age tires as us. Two seconds back. The guy that was right next to us at the end of the run should be on a couple lap fresher tires. So we'll have to keep an eye on whenever he shows up. Very interesting. I, I think that uh, green flag pit stop worked out for us, though. Being aggressive and nearly speeding, I think, worked out in our favor. Block the line, but don't cross it, I guess. Try to be good to the car on entry, since we have the space to do so. Thirty to go. I'm familiar with that seventeen. I wonder if he did a bigger undercut or something? Or maybe he just had a really good stop. I don't know. I don't remember seeing him though. I don't think he could have made it without pitting this far. Not sure what the story is there. Interesting, I don't see Lewandowski or the guy that had caught us. Jacob, I think his name was. Sure hope this goes green. It's been a great race so far. I'm going to just keep running this low line, I guess. If it's going to keep maintaining that gap. No reason to change anything if it's working just fine. Just waiting to see that 17 change to maybe one of the guys that have fresher tires. Still going to take the apron down here so long as the car is not wanting to be wobbly down there. Feeling good. I'm feeling pretty good. Just have to go green, I think, because I don't know if I have short run speed necessarily. So hopefully it doesn't come to that. Really like to maintain this advantage that I have. There's that four finally. It's showing up on the relative. About three seconds back. So I'm gonna be able to climb back from there those three seconds before the end of this race 26 to 24 to go rather hopefully Scott gives him a good battle holds him back just a little bit I imagine he will it's for a position for him, anyway.
be interesting to see just how much of an advantage the guy in the four car has. He's got two lap fresh retires. Which doesn't seem like much, but it could be enough. That makes the pass much easier. Hold him back there, Scott. Help me out. Help me out here. The captain, Irvin, behind is now 2.6 seconds. Yep. Car's getting looser, as expected. Have to try to stay on top of that. Okay, okay, it's getting a little bit too loose there. Did not like how that felt. Loses me about a tenth. Gonna have to be smoother than that. I might have to move up the track. It's getting a little loose on me now. I need to go. Is it time? I don't know. I think I have enough cushion I can still take the, the line that's easier on the tires. Scott's still holding up the four. Love to see it. The longer it takes him, the better it looks for me. Oh my gosh. I can't take the apron this time. It's getting too loose. Right. Is there enough grip to take the apron still? Yeah, that felt alright. Last lap I had just uh, gotten loose and I was worried the tires were going to be hot. I'm not going to be too willing to let me take that apron without a fight. Scott's actually pulling it back a little bit. He might be running that high side trying to hold on to P2, which will make him faster for a little bit. can't really see back there. I could look at my mirror. Kind of focused on the road. Kind of hard to tell. There are little specks back there right now because of my draw distance. And Scott's doing a pretty good job holding them off, though. Coming to 16 to go. Keep running this low line until they start threatening to be a little close for comfort. Then I start running the high line, I think. So I do think that would be faster, but I don't have any reason to potentially burn off my tires too much if I don't need to. So I'll leave that move in my back pocket for later. Pull out when necessary. What an excellent race, though. All green this whole time. Tons of fun. It's like we're in the Diet Dr. Pepper series. I don't like a certain position. 
You just need to hold your line and be quiet. Oh God, don't wreck each other. You got me loose off the corner, sidetracked and... I don't, I don't want to hear guys getting mad because that means they might end up in a wreck with each other. That's not what I want to see. Uh oh, did the one get around Scott? He might have. I think he did, yep. Is it time? Start taking the high line. See how quick he starts gaining. He's into the ones now. Eleven to go. I uh, took this a little weird. Works out though. He's gaining on me, but not quick enough, I don't think. In to go, this time by. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. It's smooth, and I think we can do this. Oh god, guy in the wall ahead. Just don't crash, please. No cautions. You can hit the wall if you want. Get around you. Just don't bring out a caution. Did the way low line there again. Kind of going too low by accident sometimes. That was a bad corner. He's getting a little close for comfort back there now. I'm going to see what the high line does. Oh, that's much faster. Definitely. We saw an exit still, though, that's for sure. But this guy's predictable. He's been running high line. He does again here, so we'll go below him. Even though I wanted high line. It's really slowing us down. Keep low. Clear outside if you want it. Back to the top. You've just done a 33.2. Thank you, 15. Don't wreck each other, please. Let's see how much faster this high line's going to be for us. Do the high line for the rest of the race. Five to go. Five to go. Just 
can't put it in the wall. Or loop it out of the exit either. He's within a second behind us. Really helps that we're uh, playing defense here rather than offense, because I don't have to really do anything too crazy. Just be consistent enough, hit my marks. Should be enough to get it done. Oh, he is point seven now. He's only got three laps to get it done. Would prefer to keep a little bit of gap. So we can't think about doing any crazy Hail Mary moves or anything. Trying to uh, do a major slide job or something. Don't want to let him have that option. This point five back there, I gotta go. Oh man, I'm getting major loose. It's coming quick. Final lap. Close enough that he's going to try something crazy? See. He's going down there. Not going to be enough, though. Wow. Just barely. Oof. Good race, guys. Oh my gosh, I was sweat. Literally and figuratively. Great race, guys. We did win a good race, baby. Whew. Great race, guys. That was awesome. That's the first passion free race I've had this week. Yeah, he had me. If if this was an 81 lap race, he was right there. That last corner, that was impressive. He gained so much time in that final little bit. That was great driving by him. I appreciate him not just torpedoing me. Ooh, so we get the win. All right. Get the win after starting P2. Scott gets a very nice top five. Fingers hurt, as usual. And I guess we'll go and look and see what happened, but not too much. What a great race that was. We had a 4X, a couple 2Xs, and a 1X, and that's it. Very happy with how clean that race was. I imagine all we're going to get here, probably a couple wall hits and things. I think a really good green flag pit stop did wonders for us. 20 hits the wall. Sixteen in the wall. We're already on lap eighteen, so the wall hits aren't even happening all that often either. Though the seven gets it pretty good there. It looks like he'll do it once more. A couple laps later. 
26 going to get the wall on exit? Or rather, the 21. I don't know why I said 6. Here's Lewandowski. I didn't crowd him, did I? No, he had room. Just kind of barely got up into it. Glad I got to look at that, though, so that way I'm more familiar with exactly how close I am. I can look back and know, okay, that, that's how that felt and that's how much room I was giving. Gives me a better idea of how much room I should give or take in the future. The 9, that's when he was in the wall. Actually, I want to go back and look at that. That's whenever the 9 was winning, and he just got the wall a few too many times. And that's what allowed me to catch him, and then I don't know if maybe he uh, had damage from it or what. But after doing that a couple times, he ended up uh, back in... Uh, see the... was he that car? The 9 car? Where did he finish? He finished 8th. So that's interesting. I don't know if he had damage, if he had a slower green flag pit stop. I'm not sure what happened, but he was the class of the field early on. Oh no, three wide. That's scary. Ooh, slight tap there. As they're coming off the corner. You can see they both of them got a little bit loose. Thomas maybe came down on him a little bit. Maybe didn't realize they were still three wide. Here's the nine getting the wall again. I was able to avoid it though, Horace. I'm proud of myself. I didn't get the wall at all. If it's going to go green all the way, that pays off. It's a couple tenths that you never uh, have to worry about, you know, having lost. Scott's in the wall. Ooh, comes down. Looks like he just pulled it off a little bit. See, it sucks you in. The Arca car gets sucks in. Or, you know, the Gen 4 car that was the Arca body. And then it kind of pulls it off a little bit. Taps the three. Great save by the three, by the way. He was like sideways and then managed to pull it back. And the nine, just no more grip for him. And this is the time that allows me to get up to him, I think. But here I am. You see me take the apron. And then I knew I wanted to get the most out of this run. Because it could be hard to pass later if I don't. So, I just make sure that heading into the next corner, I will have the high line. Because that's uh, where you want to be, I think, if you're going to hold someone off. Uh, it'll get that done. Maybe that wasn't as the perfect way to do it. I might have been able to make that look a little bit better, but it got the job done. Lap 34. This is just uh, before we're coming to the green flag pit stops here before too long. Got the car head there. This is probably just our tires getting lower and uh, simulator uh, letting us know all about it. Tim gets the wall. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit faster here. Unless we see anything too crazy. It's going to be showing us a lot of just tires wearing out. We'll uh, have to skip ahead until about lap 42 or 43, where it's going to stop showing us nonsense. Might have been a wall hit there. 23 is pitting? He might be out of fuel, even. He was the last guy to pit, I do know that. So he goes extremely long, but... Very rough pit in. That didn't work out too well for him. He got there, though. The four. Oh, he gets the wall pretty good right there. That could have been the difference right there. If he loses a tenth there, I mean, he loses by about a tenth. You know what I mean? Green all the way, you don't get the yellow flag to reset it. Makes you think. Scott in third here. Nothing to be seen there. And in fact, uh, we might not have anything else to see, because these are just tires getting worn again, I think. Lap 76, I know I didn't hit the wall. So now it's just showing us all the guys, uh, tires getting low. So I'm thinking that's going to be it for this one. We get the win in a, in a strong field, I'm very happy, very happy with that. 
Makes me feel pretty good heading into the Diet Dr. Pepper series later in the season for Kansas. That's still quite a bit of ways, but got a little bit of experience here, and it turned out pretty well. So we'll go ahead and make sure we didn't miss anything else. I don't think we did. Or did we? 17 gets in the back of Scott. Interesting. 17 was just heading in there a little faster, and I think it hurt the 17 more than Scott, because Scott did an amazing save there. But it's looking like Lewandowski's going to get on the inside of the 17 now. And you can see they end up finishing side by side. This is the final lap. This ends up being a very close finish. The 17 gets loose. And the 2 just barely edges them out. So that was quite a, an intense finish for those guys. I see this scheme and I think of uh, Lance from the, the league. I recognize that as a scheme he has used before. So that is going to do it. Very fun race. Very clean race. Loved it. And uh, we get it done. All right. We'll see the results page. And uh, wrap it up here for this one. I'm glad I decided to run this. That was a good time. 3664 strength of field as you should be able to see yes okay. i always like to check because sometimes i mess it up but <laughs> um like i said 36 64 strength of field we get the win and the fastest lap the only guy with a fastest lap time in the 30s it looks like so maybe i'm overdriving i don't know <laughs> but uh, it worked out we get most laps led looks like and 63 i rating gained for a strong finish, 219 championship points. And uh, you can see the rest here. Scott, with his great finish, gets rewarded. The 17, an excellent run to get a top six as the 17. Shout out to him for a great run. And uh, you can see the rest here. So that will do it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you, and I hope you enjoyed that one. I had a good time. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one, wherever that might be. See ya.